Oh, someone just fell off a bike. Spurs outrageous double swoop. Leicester's search for Maguire rebound. Rooney returns. We've got our transfer roundup. And of course, this week's great debate. That and more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Froning. Here with the One Footballers. And coming from Amsterdam, this is the Daily News. First off, and to Spurs' sensational double swoop, which they could get done before the transfer deadline on Thursday evening. First off, and it's Paolo Dybala. Now, although he has rejected a move to Manchester United for around 69 million euros, the Aventus have reported said yes to Tottenham's bid. This will mean that all that's left to do is to agree a deal with the man himself, which may prove a little bit difficult. Apparently in talks with Manchester United, the Barla wanted around 350k per week, something which would absolutely obliterate Spurs' wage budget, with 200k being the most paid at the moment to star forward Harry Kane. If they do do this deal and the other one, which is reportedly Philip Coutinho on loan, this would be a massive summer for Mauricio Pochettino's men after losing the Champions League final. Coutinho has been linked with a return to Liverpool as well as loan deals Manchester United and Arsenal, but it looks as though at the moment, according to Sky Sports, Spurs are the favourites. If they are to do this though, they're going to need a little bit of cash to spend and that is where Christian Eriksen comes in handy. The Dane has said earlier in the summer that he wants to leave and it's reported that Manchester United are willing to pay around £50 million for his services, which is almost the total amount that they'll be paying for Dybala, so it looks like Spurs will be in a pretty good situation. And talking of Manchester United, their massive signing of Harry Maguire, the world's most expensive defender, has been the Leicester are one defender light. So Brendan Rodgers and his team are looking at potential replacements, one of them being 40 million rated James Tarkowski from Burnley. Now apparently Leicester are a bit annoyed that they've been quoted so much money for Tarkowski, but isn't that what they did for Maguire in the first place? They can't complain about being so stubborn over a price, but that's exactly what they did to get Manchester United to cough up 80 million pounds. Brendan Rodgers has said that he's happy with what he's got, but it does admit that he would like to bring in a new centre-back, even if he does put some faith in young Turkish centre-back Son Yunchu. Along with this, though, Leicester have agreed a deal for Sampdoria midfielder Dennis Preyer, so it's not all bad news at the King Power Stadium. But third on our list today, and it's Wayne Rooney, the return of Wayne Rooney to England. He's agreed a deal to become a player coach at Derby County in the Championship from January 2020. That's because he's going to see out this season with DC United in the MLS, where he's currently netted 11 goals so far this season. Now, of course, this is a massive opportunity for Rooney as he wants to continue his footballing legacy and head into coaching and eventually management. But it does beg one question for me. Is the MLS really that attractive that if at the first opportunity, Rooney just jumps straight back into English football? And not even jumping straight back into English football in the Premier League, but in the Championship. No disrespect to the Championship or Derby. I'm saying that if that's more attractive than staying at the top of the MLS is, well, there's still questions over how good the level of football is there. So next up to a quick roundup of the rest of the day's transfer, rumours and news. Where Manchester City have agreed to deal with Sporting for their winger, Felix Correa. Harry Wilson has left Liverpool to join Bournemouth on loan for a season. By Munich interest in Arsenal youngster Joe Willock and Serge Aurier has been linked with a last minute move back to PSG. So last but not least we come to this week's great debate. You know what this is by now. It's where our One Football Newsroom set a question for you guys to answer. Of course you can see our answers in the relevant article in the app but for the comment section down below we want to know what is the most overpriced transfer in history. Now of course there are massive transfer flops but we're talking about the huge money which doesn't seem to have quite worked out. For me, it's got to be Usman Dembele. Now, I know he's a top, top talented player, but when Barcelona signed him, they agreed to a deal which, with add-ons, could see them pay around £135 million. All this for a 19-year-old with an attitude problem who had a pretty decent season at Dortmund. I'm not saying it's not going to be worth it in the future, but for that kind of money, it seems like a lot. Of course, let me know all of your thoughts down below for that great debate question and the rest of today's daily news. And you can also smash the like button whilst you are down there. Also, don't forget to click here or here to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on OneFootball. But until next time, I will see you guys later.